Imagine if one day you decide to run away from your abusive father but are kidnapped by a man with a mental disorder, the man believes that you are his daughter and you plead with the psycho to let you go but he keeps you locked up in his house. The man makes you do things which you don't understand and tries to develop a very close relationship with you. That's exactly what happens in the 2020 movie called Captive. But before we begin, beware of spoilers, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a girl called Lily who is being abused by her stepfather. We see him entering her room and throwing things onto the floor. Lily decides that she needs to run away for her own sanity. Next, we are taken to the woods where Lily is seen laying next to her boyfriend Neil. Lily starts thinking twice about her decision to leave and we see her reach for her phone. Neil quickly stops her and tells her she shouldn't call her father and they should continue with their plan. Lily and Neil are seen walking through the woods when Neil realizes his water bottle is empty. Nightfall quickly falls and we see Neil handing a tent to Lily as he heads off towards the river. Lily sets up the tent and climbs in. When she reaches for her phone, she finds only the cover and realizes that Neil has taken it with him. She screams out for him from the tent but there is no response. She falls asleep and when she wakes up the next day, she finds that Neil has still not returned. Lily becomes very concerned and decides to go look for him in the woods. Soon she comes across a house and runs over hoping for some help. She knocks on the door and a man called Evan opens, she frantically asks him if she can use his phone. Evan lets her in and offers her a glass of water, he holds the glass out to her and tells her she should take a shower first. Lily finds this very strange and feels extremely uncomfortable. She tries to leave and makes her way to the porch, Evan stops her and starts yelling at her to come back. Evan grabs her by the arm and pushes her back into the house. Lily sits on the couch as Evan apologizes, Lily starts to realize that there may be something wrong with Evan. When Lily tries to leave again, Evan starts yelling at her like a psycho, he grabs her by the arm and forces her over to another room. Lily is very scared and shouts at Evan to let her go. She reluctantly walks down the stairs to find newspaper articles of missing people plastered all over the wall. She looks around the room and finds a hammer, Evan suddenly walks in and takes the hammer from her and walks back upstairs. We see him switching on the security system which locks all the exits out of the house. We then see him return back downstairs with a plate of food. He tells her that she can take a shower when she is ready. Lily is frightened and doesn't know what to make of any of this. She pleads with Evan to let her go which angers him. He throws the plate against the wall and takes her away to a room where there is a treadmill. He tells her that she should start training. Lily is very confused and doesn't know what Evan is talking about. Lily wanted to run away from her abusive father but has found herself in a very bad situation. The movie cuts to the next morning where we see Evan sitting on the porch reading the paper. Here we see that the headline is about Lily and Neil who have been reported missing. He gets up and goes downstairs to the basement and tells Lily that she has to train but she still has no idea what he is talking about. Nighttime falls and we see Lily sleeping on the treadmill. Evan brings in a blow-up mattress for her to sleep on and a plate of food. He watches Lily sleeping while holding a teddy bear. The next morning, Evan places a mat on the floor and tells her to lie down on it. Lily fears the worst but to her surprise, he asks her to start doing sit-ups. She struggles to do them and has a flashback about her and her stepfather. This brings back horrible memories and she kicks out at Evan making him fall. But and Evan leaves the basement in anger. A while passes and he returns and tells Lily that she can only have dinner if she finishes her sit-ups. She lays down on the mat and does as he asks. When she finishes Evan escorts her to the dining room where he refers to her as Catherine. While sitting at the table, she looks around the house for a way to escape. She closes her eyes and grabs a knife. Evans quickly grabs it from her leaving her startled. He cuts up her food for her before returning to his chair. Lily acts out by throwing food onto the floor. This annoys Evan and they have a screaming match. He chases her back down to the basement where Lily shuts the door in his face. Later, he returns handing Lily some sport clothes. She goes into the other room to change and when she returns, Evan starts the treadmill and she begins walking on it. The scene cuts to Evan opening the door for his brother who comes to visit. His brother has come to check up on him and is surprised when Evan tells him Catherine has returned and is training down in the basement. His brother tells him to get some help from a therapist as he's clearly not taking his meds. Evan stands up and tells him that he's perfectly fine. Here we learn that Evan has a delusional disorder and he and his brother start fighting. His brother eventually leaves disappointed. Evan returns to Lily and he tells her that her uncle came to visit. Lily starts shouting. 
hoping that he will hear her but he has already left. Lily decides to go along with Evan's belief that she is Catherine and asks to see her uncle. He wipes the sweat from Lily's head and she walks out. Lily takes a shower as Evan goes to make her bed, he picks up a small picture of Catherine off the desk and smiles at it. Lily walks upstairs and Evan hugs her fully convinced that she is his daughter Catherine. Lily decides her best chance of escaping is to keep the facade up of her being Catherine and starts to wear her clothes. Lily is then seen snooping through her new room and finds a picture of Catherine, her mother and Evan under the bed where she also finds Catherine's diary. She reads through it before leaving the room, we see her walking quietly down the corridor as she tries to find a way to escape. Evan is cutting up vegetables and we see Lily walking towards the door. Suddenly, we see Evan behind Lily holding a knife and asks her where she's going. She responds that she wanted to help him cook. The two start making food and Evan hugs Lily. She tries to find another opportunity to escape but is caught, Evan tells her to return to Catherine's room. Lily takes Catherine's diary out again and tries to find out some more information. She lays on the bed and flips through the pages, she finds out that Evan is psychopath and used to punish Catherine if she failed even the most trivial things like hide and seek. She finds out that Evan and her mother constantly fought over his controlling behavior. She learns that when Catherine started her period, Evan got confused and didn't know what to do. With this in mind, she tells Evan to get her some pads or tampons because her period has started. Evan escorts Lily to the basement and tells her to start exercising again. We then see him driving away towards the supermarket. Lily continues reading the journal and when Evan returns, she throws some water over her shirt making it look like she has been working out hard. Next, we see Neil arriving on his motorcycle pulling into Evan's driveway, he asks him if he's seen Lily. Evan looks at the photo and starts to think that Neil is here to take him to the psychiatric ward. He yells at Neil telling him to go otherwise he will call the police. Neil is alarmed by his psycho behavior and leaves, Evan goes back into his house. Next, we see Evan taking Lily towards the wall as he wants to measure her height. He sees that she is shorter than the last time he measured Catherine and is a little confused. Lily stands on her toes so she seems taller and Evan is taken in by this. Next. Lily is taken to the basement and told to jump rope, when she sees her chance, she attacks Evan hitting him with a lamp then the rope, Evan falls to the floor and Lily forces Evan to give her the keys to the basement, as he goes to hand them over, he drops them on the floor and grabs her hand and knocks her over, he then yells at her and asks how she could have done that to her father. Lily starts to cry hopelessly while on the floor, later, Lily is in Catherine's bed reading the journal, we find out that Catherine's mother died in a car crash. Evan knocks on the door and tells Lily that it's dinner time. When Lily enters the dining room, she finds Evan standing there shirtless, and Evan walks closer to cut up her food. We can see the marks across Evan's back from when she attacked him. Lily decides to apologize to Evan and he finally accepts. When they finish their dinner, Evan wants to play hide and seek. While chasing after her with a flashlight, Lily fakes a fall and tells him that she has hurt her ankle. Next. We see Lily in her room reading Catherine's diary again and she appears to be also writing. Suddenly the walls start shaking when there is an earthquake. Lily and Evan get out of the house but return when the shaking stops. We see them clearing up the mess and Lily picks up a picture frame. The picture shows Evan winning a race and he tells Lily that he only wants her to be a great athlete one day. The next morning, Lily and Evan are outside and she starts to run a few laps. She looks around for a means to escape when she bolts for the gate, she picks up a rock and tries to smash open the lock. Evan shouts at her and runs up behind and tackles her to the ground and this time, she hurts her foot for real. We then see Evan bandaging up Lily's foot while she is writing in the journal. Evan is seen helping Lily and she decides not to try and escape for now. We see a change in Lily as she begins taking the training very seriously, as time goes by. Lily continues to train and she begins to get faster and stronger. Lily and Evan seem forming a close relationship like a father and daughter. Lily and Evan start enjoying each other's company and celebrate when she beats Catherine's old running records. One day, Evan tells Lily that he signed her up for a running competition and that she has seven weeks to prepare. Lily seems genuinely happy and takes a picture of them as a memory of all the fun times they have shared recently. The movie cuts to night and we see Evan entering Lily's room. He starts talking to her and telling her that the reason Catherine left is that she blamed him for the death of her mother. The next day we see Lily trying to walk towards the door when Evan quickly follows and hands her a present, 
He tells her it's Catherine's birthday today and gives her a hug. Lily opens the present and finds a new phone. She adds Neil's number and we hear Evan saying he's going to the shop to get her a cake. Evan leaves and we see Lily finally escape running as fast as she can. When Evan returns home. Here we learn that the real Catherine has returned home. She is a little puzzled when he hands her the groceries and tells her to place them in the kitchen. Catherine is shocked by her father's actions as she expected him to be happy seeing her after such a long time. He tells her to wait inside her room while he prepares a birthday surprise for her. She reluctantly enters her room and goes through her old things including her diary. She is surprised to find new notes in there that she didn't write. All of a sudden, Catherine is shocked as Lily walks into her room. Lily decided not to run away and has come back to the house. Catherine is very confused and doesn't know who Lily is. Lily explains to her that she is a younger version of her. She is very happy and so is Evan. She tells Catherine that she is a bad daughter and she wasn't there for her father after the death of his wife. She blames her for her father's mental issues. Lily tells her that she has more love for Evan than she had for her real father and that Catherine won't ever know what it's like to really have an abusive father. She tells Catherine that she won't stop pretending to be her. She suddenly picks up a knife and walks over to Catherine and stabs her. When Evan knocks on the door, she calmly walks out and blows out the candles on the cake. We see Lily taking the keys from Evan and telling him that they should drive around town. Before she starts the car, she deletes Neil's number from her phone implying her and Evan go on to live a happy life as father and daughter and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.